How do the prices of things at Tokyo Disney Resort compare to Walt Disney World? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you. Hey, fellow explorers, my name is Chris, aka TDR Explorer, and I help you find the perfect trip to Asia and its theme parks. If you're a theme park fan who loves to travel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos because we do help you plan your perfect trip. One thing that many explorers notice when they first visit Tokyo Disney Resort is just the difference in prices compared to Walt Disney World. Now some things in Japan do cost less, while some things do cost more. And of course we can get into the nuances of quality, portion sizes and things like that, which I will address later in the video. I'm going to be talking about park tickets, transportation, hotels, merchandise, and of course food. This is to give you a point of reference of just how much things cost if you're looking to to budget your trip to Japan and just give you a general sense of just what things cost here. Before we get into it though, I just want to have a quick little disclaimer about the prices that we are showing in this video. We did the best research we can to try and find the most up-to-date pricing information, but just like everything else, these prices do change, so I do implore you to check out the official Tokyo Disney Resort website for the most up-to-date pricing. And we did get a lot of our prices from the Tokyo Disney Resort website and also the Walt Disney World website. For simplicity's sake, a lot of these comparisons, we tried to do one for one, but in some cases that's not possible, like hotels. There's a lot of hotels at Disney World and there's not as many here in Japan. So we did our best to kind of group them together so they made the most sense. But sometimes, you know, it's just, it's a little tough. As for the taxes in Japan, usually the tax is included in the price. So the prices for Japan do include the taxes. For the prices that we're showing for Walt Disney World, a lot of it doesn't include the tax, so you have that on top of that as well. And for the prices in US dollars, they're all approximate, so we kind of rounded them either up or down just to make things easier when I'm talking. With all that said, let's get into it. Let's talk about park tickets. So just to keep things simple, we're just gonna stick with the one day non-park hopper ticket just because after that with Walt Disney World and Tokyo Disney Resort, it gets a little complicated. And with Tokyo Disney Resort, we only have the two parks and Walt Disney World has the four parks plus the water parks. So, you know, if we went into that, we'd just be you know going through spreadsheets all day, which we're not gonna do. First up, Tokyo Disney Resort with its one day tickets. Now they did introduce variable pricing. Pretty much every Disney park now is doing that and every other theme park like Universal have variable pricing for their tickets. So a one day ticket for Tokyo Disney Resort is gonna cost you anywhere between 7,900 yen and 9,400 yen, which is about 70 to 83 US dollars. Now comparing that to Disney World, a one day ticket for Disney World ranges anywhere between 110 US dollars to 140. US dollars. Let's quickly talk about annual passes. Right now Tokyo Disney Resort does not have any annual passes unfortunately. Uh, they did not come back after the parks opened so the pass that I'm going to talk about right now the price is from 2019. Hopefully we see them come back. We don't know if it's going to be more expensive. It probably will be but this is just for a point of reference. So a two park annual pass for Tokyo Disney Resort, meaning you can go into Tokyo Disneyland or Tokyo Disney Sea with some block out dates is 99,000 yen, which is about 913 US dollars. I got mine right here. This is my old one. I had to get a refund for it because you know, everything that happened in the world. Now for annual passes for Walt Disney World, I picked the Increda Pass, which is 1299 US dollars, just because that one is available to non-Florida residents. For the annual passes at Tokyo Disney Resort, you don't have to live in Japan to buy an annual pass. Anyone can buy them. Let's talk about paid fast passes really quickly. Here in Japan, we don't have any paid fast pass options. We don't even have fast pass right now. When the parks reopened last year in 2020, fast passes were gone. And before that though, they were included in your day ticket. They weren't anything extra. Um, we don't know when that's coming back. It might be a paid option in the future. I'm not sure, but as it stands right now, we don't have any, any of that. Compared to Walt Disney World, which just introduced Genie Plus, which is a paid fast pass option. You can pay the 15 US dollars per person per day, 
or the seven to 15 US dollars per attraction. Uh, I'm not gonna go into details about that, but just for your point of reference, we don't have anything like that in Japan yet. That's enough about tickets. I'm gonna change my shirt and we're gonna talk about transportation. You're gonna have to get around Tokyo Disney Resort and there are different transportation options, just like Walt Disney World. Now, some things cost money, some things don't. The biggest thing is at Tokyo Disney Resort, there is a monorail. And at Walt Disney World too, there is a monorail that you get to take. Now, Japan takes its monorail very seriously and the monorail here is wonderful. I have a full video showing everything you need to know about the monorail at Tokyo Disney Resort so you can go watch that after you're done watching this one. Now, for the monorail, unless you are staying at the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel or the Hotel Mir Costa, you do have to pay for the monorail, unfortunately. And on the monorail, there are other hotels, uh, the Tokyo Disney official hotels, but they don't usually offer uh, a pass to use the monorail. Now the monorail, if you wanna do one loop around it, it's gonna cost you 260 yen, which is about two US dollars. It's a little expensive for how far you're actually going. You're not going really that far compared to other uh, fares that you pay in Japan while taking the train. It is a little bit expensive, but one thing that you can do to kind of reduce that cost is to get a pass. Now you can get a one day pass, two day, three day, and up to four day. You can even get a month pass, but most people aren't gonna need a month pass. But a one day pass, you get these really cool designs. Yes, look at them. Those are really cool, I love that. So a one day ticket for an adult is 660 yen, which is about six US dollars. And if you plan on riding the monorail three, four, five, six, seven, eight times in a day, then it's definitely worth getting. Now, of course, compared to Walt Disney World, Walt Disney World does not charge for the monorail. The monorail, you can just hop on it. And the other thing with the monorail for Walt Disney World, of course, it doesn't go around the entire resort of Walt Disney World. Walt Disney World is massive. Tokyo Disney Resort isn't as big, so it's pretty easy for it to do a loop around. I love going on the monorail. I just, ugh. I just love just going on there and just sitting on it and just enjoying the view. It's really nice. As for the buses, both Tokyo Disney Resort and Walt Disney World, you don't have to pay for the buses at either. Now, how about getting to Tokyo Disney Resort from the airport? Now that does cost money. Tokyo Disney does not provide transportation officially from either Haneda Airport or Narita Airport to Tokyo Disney Resort. You're kind of on your own with that one. Now I know with Walt Disney World, they're getting rid of the Magical Express. You're gonna have to pay for it. So to go from MCO to the Walt Disney Resort area, it's gonna cost you about 16 US dollars for an adult for one way. Taking the bus from the airport to Tokyo Disney Resort is the easiest way then that way you don't have to deal with the trains, especially if you're just getting off a really long flight, you're gonna be tired and you don't wanna have to deal with having to do the trains first thing as soon as you land. Now, a one-way bus ticket from Haneda Airport is about 1,000 yen, which is about nine US dollars. And that takes, you know, about 40 minutes. To take a bus from Narita Airport to one of the hotels at Tokyo Disney Resort, it's gonna cost you about 1,900 yen, which is about 19 US dollars one way. And this takes about an hour to get there. Now, if you wanna take the train, if you're comfortable with that, or you wanna save some money, you can also do that. So if you wanna take the train from Haneda Airport, do it one way, it's gonna cost you about 610 yen, which is about $6. And then if you wanna take the train from Narita Airport, it's gonna take you about an hour and that's gonna cost you about 1200 yen, which is about $12. Before we talk about the hotels, here's a quick word from this video's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by WDW Magazine, the place to get your Disney fix with their monthly print and digital magazine. It's a great way to stay updated with the happenings at Walt Disney World and other Disney parks around the world, including Tokyo Disneyland. They showcase beautiful photos, easy to follow tips, and some issues even have articles written by yours truly. Get your free preview over at explore.wdwmag.com to check out four articles for free. I'll put a link in the description for you. Supporting our sponsors also supports us, so make sure you go and check them out. Hotels, 
that's going to be a big cost for your trip and of course there are differences in terms of the hotel prices in Japan versus Walt Disney World. Now this was a little complicated to go through because Tokyo Disney Resort doesn't have as many hotel options as Walt Disney World and it's really hard to do a one-for-one -one comparison but we kind of did our best and did a lot of research with this and I grouped everything into deluxe moderate non-Disney hotels and also value. Hotel prices do fluctuate depending on demand and the time of year. So for this, we did research for the first week, first week or two of November to kind of give an idea of how much things cost for these hotels. First up, we have the Hotel Miracosta, which is one of my favorite Disney hotels. <laughs> I love it. And it's right inside Tokyo Disney Sea. And this is the most expensive hotel at Tokyo Disney Resort as of now. There's going to be another hotel built inside Tokyo Disney Sea. Yes, Tokyo Disney Sea is going to have two hotels inside its theme park. And this is going to be part of the Fantasy Springs expansion, which is set to open sometime in 2023. But back to the Hotel Miracosta. It starts at about 62,500 yen per night and goes up from there. Sometimes you can find it a little bit cheaper, but not all that often. And that's about 550 US dollars. Next up, we have the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel, which is 45,000 yen, I was going to say US dollars, 45,000 yen, which is about 400 US dollars per night. Now they do have character rooms and they just go up from there. So this is more for the standard room. Same thing with the Disney Ambassador Hotel, which is the cheapest of the deluxe hotels, which is about 38,000 yen, which is about 335 US dollars. Now for three hotels at Walt Disney World, just to give you that point of reference and remember this isn't a one-for-one -one comparison because that's impossible to do this is just kind of giving you an idea of pricing so the Polynesian for this time frame it's about 738 US dollars per night then we have the boardwalk which is 634 US dollars per night and then finally the Animal Kingdom Lodge which is about 503 US dollars per night so you can see here with the deluxe hotels Tokyo Disney Resort hotels aren't actually that bad if you get them at a cheaper rate. Now, of course, if you're going during the high season like New Year's or Golden Week, the prices are going to skyrocket. And these rooms are usually for people like two people. If you add more, the price is going to go up. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at the prices for this. Now, moving on to the moderate hotels, Tokyo Disney Resort technically does not have a moderate hotel right now. They're still building it. Our first moderate hotel is the Toy Story Hotel. So we don't have a price for the Toy Story Hotel yet. I bet you anything, once I finish recording this, they're gonna announce something and then, <laughs> then we'll have a price. But my guess anyway for the Toy Story Hotel, which is on the monorail loop here at Tokyo Disney Resort, my guess is gonna be anywhere between 30,000 yen to 40,000 yen per night which is about 265 US dollars to 350 US dollars. That's my guess, I don't know for sure. But comparing it to some other moderate hotels at Walt Disney World, the uh, Caribbean Beach Resort is about 301 US dollars per night, and then Riverside, which is about 277 US dollars. So something you know kind of in that price range moving on to the value hotels tokyo disney resort has one value hotel well i guess it's i guess technically two there's the tokyo disney resort celebration hotel which is two buildings one is wish one is discover the only difference between them is the theming one is like the fantasy land theme and one is like an adventure theme that's that's really the difference now for pricing they're about 26 thousand yen which is about 230 us dollars per night so that is kind of on the higher end for a value resort and it's also really far from tokyo disney resort it's actually a 20 minute bus ride which is not close at all you can't walk to the resort from 
the Celebration Hotel. From the other hotels, you definitely can if you wanted to, or just pop on the monorail. Now, comparing that to Walt Disney World, we have Pop Century, which is about 179 US dollars per night, and then the All Stars Resort, which is about 135 dollars per night. Lastly, we have the non-Disney hotels. Now here at Tokyo Disney Resort, we have the official Tokyo Disney Resort hotels, is what they're called, and these are right on the monorail loop line. Now, the most popular ones are the Hilton Tokyo Bay and the Sheraton Hotel. Now, the Hilton Tokyo Bay, you can get it for about 14,000 yen, which is about 125 US dollars per night. And the Sheraton is about 17,000 yen per night, which is about $150. Now, with these hotels, they are big. Bigger rooms compared to the Disney hotels. The Disney hotels in Japan, they're a lot smaller. And that's one of the biggest, I would say, complaints that um, Westerners usually have when they're coming to Japan. So if you, if a big room is something that is important to you, you're definitely going to want to go with the Hilton or the Sheraton. And of course, with these, you can get them much cheaper than what I just showed you here, because sometimes they have deals which are like 50% off. So you can get them really cheap if you keep an eye out for deals. As for Disney World, there are tons of other non-Disney hotels that are off property that you can check out and without going into a laundry list of things. Uh, the Hilton Orlando Lake Buena Vista is about 200 US dollars per night. So just to kind of give you kind of a, a point of reference. Now, of course, with the hotels, you can go much cheaper at Tokyo Disney Resort. If you don't want to stay right on resort, you can stay off resort. There are other hotels, Airbnbs and things like that. So you can really bring the costs down if you like. I go into detail about the hotels on our website at tdrexplorer.com. I'll put a link in the description. And also we have an ebook that does go into tons of detail about the pricing with the hotel. So you can go and check that out as well. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We're going to talk about my favorite part. Second favorite part? I don't know. It's a toss up. But we're going to talk about merchandise. Merchandise. Ugh, merchandise. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I go into detail with merchandise at Tokyo Disney Resort pretty much every month. I have videos that talk about that. So if you're curious about what I'm talking about, I have hours and hours and hours of merchandise footage. So you can go and check that out. But let's talk about some of the common merchandise and the prices. Now, first up, t-shirts. So I'm wearing this one. This one's a little bit more expensive than what the normal t-shirts are at Tokyo Disney Resort. This is a brand collaboration with a company called Ponyas. And I believe this was about 6,000, 7,000 yen. I can't remember, but that's like 60, $70. But typically t-shirts at Tokyo Disney Resort cost between 2,900 yen and 3,900 yen, which is about 27 to 36 US dollars. Compared to Disney World, uh, a lot of the t-shirts are anywhere between 30 to 35 dollars and of course they can go more expensive than that we don't have spirit jerseys here in japan they're trying to make it a thing at the disney store but i don't know if it's catching on only time will tell you can argue that tokyo disney resort has better quality merchandise i would agree with you <laughs> tokyo disney resort there, there's a lot of variety and i do think the quality is a lot better here but that's not to say tokyo disney resort is perfect in terms of its merchandise sometimes we don't have basic things like things for attractions we used to have a lot of that kind of stuff but they don't do it as much anymore now sometimes we do get stuff that's themed to different attractions like we just got some country bear merchandise and in the past we've got some haunted mansion stuff but typically we don't have a lot of attraction based merchandise a lot of it is based off of characters, because that's really what is popular here in Japan. Mini ears. So mini ears, we don't have a lot in Tokyo Disney compared to the US, but they do cost about 1900 yen, which is about 18 US dollars. And in the US, they can go from anywhere between 25 US dollars to 35 US dollars. Pins, let's talk about pins. So pins at Tokyo Disney Resort, there's not a lot. Pin trading is not a thing here anymore. It used to be back in the early 2000s, but they got rid of it because of, from what I know, it was too popular and it was just a lot of hassle. So they just got rid of it entirely. But we still have pins at Tokyo Disney and they usually cost around 1100 yen, which is about $10. So you can see this one here that says Tokyo Disney Resort on it. And we do have some attraction pins 
not a ton like I mentioned like a few seconds ago. Now, in terms of Walt Disney World, they can range from $10 to $18. Plush, oof, I love plush. So Tokyo Disney Resort, the plushes range from anywhere from 1,800 yen to 5,100 yen, because some of them are pretty expensive. So that's about 17 US dollars to 46 US dollars. Now my favorites to get are always these. These are called character plush badges and they have the little pins on the back and the little chain to hang off your bag. And these are from the 20th anniversary of Tokyo Disney Sea. They have these pretty much every event. You'll get Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy, Pluto in some cases, and also Chip and Dale. These guys are usually about 3,600 yen, which is about $33. Why I picked the two characters that always come as a set and are the most expensive is beyond me. I don't know. They're so cute. <laughs> I love them. Now, compared to Disney World, Disney World, it's about 20 US dollars to 40 US dollars in that range. Let's talk about mugs. So, this mug here, this is from Tokyo Disney Sea, and it looks like you know, the skyline of Tokyo Disney Sea. And this is 1500 yen. So, most mugs are about 1500 yen, which is about 14 US dollars. And in Disney World, well, of course, you can't get the Disney Sea mug at Disney World, but mugs at Disney World are usually anywhere between 15 to 20 US dollars. Now, really quick though, about Starbucks mugs, Japan, we don't have Starbucks in our parks, so therefore we don't have any Starbucks mugs, unfortunately. I wish we did. How cool would that be to have a Starbucks mug with Tokyo Disney Sea on it or Tokyo Disneyland? Another common item are balloons. And actually, the balloon prices are pretty comparable at Tokyo Disney Resort. They're 1,500 yen, which is about 14 US dollars. And based off my research, they're about the same price, 15 US dollars at Walt Disney World. Popcorn buckets, Tokyo Disney Resort is really well known for its popcorn buckets. Anytime I post anything from Tokyo Disney Resort about popcorn buckets, people just go insane for them. <laughs> so popcorn buckets usually are around 2400 yen at Tokyo Disney Resort, which is about 23 US dollars. Now they do range, some of them go up a little bit more to 27, 2800 yen, kind of depends on the bucket. And compared to Disney World, now I know Disney World has those little like pails, and we're not going to compare them to that because I'm sorry, but Tokyo Disney Resort popcorn buckets are much better than the pails but there are special ones that disney world does do sometimes and those are usually around 27 us dollars let's talk about food because i love food probably more than merchandise before we talk about the food though i just want to say the merchandise at walt disney world while i do prefer a lot of the merchandise here at tokyo disney resort i do think the quality is better and i do like the choice and variety there are things at Disney World that I do like in terms of merchandise. I don't want to sound like I don't like any of the merchandise there. I definitely do. I love the attraction specific merchandise that they have. The variety of pins. There's so many pins to choose from. And um, shirts that I don't have to worry about not fitting me. That was one thing I forgot to mention about the shirts. A lot of the sizes, um, they can be very hit or miss if they're going to fit you or not. So for me, I'm like this, I, I, I would say I'm average sized. So sometimes shirts at Tokyo Disney will fit me just fine. Other times, there's no way I'm going to squeeze myself into that. So I do like that Walt Disney World has a larger variety of t-shirts that will actually fit me. With that said though, I do love this shirt from Tokyo Disney that actually does fit me. It's like a larger size, so I don't know, maybe they're coming out with larger sizes? Whatever. But this is Mickey Waffles shirt. Look at that. Which leads me into food. We're gonna talk about food at Tokyo Disney Resort. So really quickly though about this. So with the food, especially at Tokyo Disney Resort, now overall you're gonna notice, I'm gonna have the prices on the screen here, you're gonna notice that things are cheaper, especially when it comes to meals, set meals and stuff. But the thing with that is portion sizes in Japan are typically smaller, so the prices reflect that. Biggest thing is tipping. There is no tipping culture in Japan. So all the prices you see here, that's what you pay. The, you don't have to do any tipping of the sort. So I know in the US, usually when it's uh, table service restaurants, you're expected to tip. In Japan, no, if you're having a table service meal, 
there's no tipping the price on there that is what you get now some places in japan uh, usually the more fancier places will add like a gratuity, but it's added right onto your bill and it's usually about 10%. If you want to show your appreciation to your server here at Tokyo Disney Resort or anywhere in Japan, please don't tip. It's going to cause confusion and in some cases it can be seen as offensive. So a very simple arigato gozaimasu or a simple thank you, that is more than enough to show your appreciation. Arigato gozaimasu just means thank you very much. Let's talk about the food. Let's talk about the food. Okay, counter service meals. So at Tokyo Disney Resort, they can range between 990 yen to 1980 yen, which is about nine US dollars to 19 US dollars. Now the thing with counter service meals is they include a drink and your main and usually a side. So the 990 yen, the $9 meal, it's gonna come with your burger, it's gonna come with your drink, and it's gonna come with fries or a salad. That's actually pretty good. Now for the, the drink sizes, this is a bag, by the way, it's not actually a drink. For drink sizes in Japan, so this is Tokyo Disney Resort, but it also works for other places in Japan, like McDonald's and uh, places like that. So a large drink at Tokyo Disney Resort it's going to be the equivalent of about a medium in North America and a medium at Tokyo Disney Resort is going to be about the size of a small. So like I said, portion sizes are just generally smaller here. Now for the more expensive counter service meals at Tokyo Disney, it's going to come with a drink. It's going to come with a side. It's going to come with a main and sometimes a dessert. Now comparing that to counter service meals at Walt Disney World, now they start usually around nine dollars and then go up from there but the thing with that is it doesn't usually include a drink so you gotta pay for a drink on top of that compared to tokyo disney where the drink is included with your meal going from burgers to table service i'm so excited to use this as a prop this is actually a notebook but it's look made to look like the menu from magellan's at tokyo disney sea which is one of my all-time favorite table service restaurants at any Disney park. It's wonderful. I have a video on this, so make sure you go and watch that, okay? Look at that. Look at that. It's so good. This is from the 18th anniversary. So Tokyo Disney, it's a roughly 3,200 yen to 9,800 yen. So there's a big range in terms of pricing, which is about 29 US dollars to $90. And remember, there's no tipping, so you don't tip. At Walt Disney World, this can range anywhere between starting at $18 and just going up from there. And of course, with table service restaurants at Walt Disney World, you're gonna be tipping. Buffet restaurants at Tokyo Disney. Now we don't have too many. Uh, each of the hotels do have them. So the Tokyo Disneyland Hotel, Hotel New York Costa, the Disney Ambassador Hotel, they have their buffet restaurants and they range from 5,200 yen to 5,800 yen. And this is for dinner. And that's about 45, US dollars to 53 US dollars. Now this does include the only character dining experience, which is at Chef Mickey's. Now at Walt Disney World, a character dining meal is gonna cost you anywhere between 50 to $60 per person. And then for a non-character buffet meal, it's gonna cost you about 40 to 50 US dollars. Can we talk about popcorn? I love popcorn. Ugh. Tokyo Disney is famous for its popcorn. We have so many different flavors. I. Man, I love them. I, one of my favorites is the jalapeno cheddar that we had like five years ago, and I wish they would bring it back. I, I don't think we'll ever see it again. But a box of popcorn at Tokyo Disney is gonna cost you 400 yen, which is about $4. And at Walt Disney World, it's about $4.50. Mickey waffles. <laughs> so Tokyo Disneyland has a Mickey waffle restaurant, the great American waffle restaurant and you can get a waffle mickey waffle for 600 yen which is about six us dollars and that comes with your choice of topping there's usually like a strawberry a chocolate and sometimes they have mango they do change it up every so often now comparable to the us at walt disney world it's about seven dollars for the same thing ice cream bars we love a good mickey bar at tokyo disney resort they have a variety of them and they cost 300 yen which is about three dollars and in the US, $5.50. Soft drinks, like I mentioned, the large size is $3 and not $3, 360 
yen, which is about $3. And over at the US, it's about $4, 4 US dollars. So they're, they're kind of comparable. As for cocktails, there's a wide range of them. At Tokyo Disney Sea, you can get a cocktail that starts at about 780 yen, which is about $7. Now, that does sound cheap, but they're a little watered down. They're not as um, heavy, I guess, <laughs> um, in terms of the alcoholic content in them. But they do have a lot of fun flavors. And of course, they go up from there. Um, at some of the lounges, they do have special cocktails that go up in price, just like at Disney World. Uh, some of the special uh, cocktails at Disney World start at about $13.50. And again, they go up from there. Special drinks. There are special drinks that you can get at Tokyo Disney. Uh, they're sparkling drinks. They're drinks with whipped cream, with fun designs on them. They come out pretty much every season. And these are usually around 550 yen, which is about five US dollars. And at Disney World, their specialty drinks, you know, we see a lot of them, especially at the Magic Kingdom and at Epcot. They are about six, you know, starting around six US dollars. Bottled drinks. So bottled drinks at Tokyo Disney Resort, uh, they're usually anywhere between 200 yen to 220 yen, which is practically two dollars, which is actually a little expensive uh, compared to if you buy it at the store. You can get them for significantly cheaper, like usually 150 yen. If you go to like 7-Eleven, or if you go to, you know, at a local grocery store, they're even cheaper, they could be under a dollar, you know, under 100 yen. So a bottled drink at Disney World, it's gonna cost you about $4.50. Churros! I'm not a big churro fan. <laughs> if you watch my videos, you know I'm not, I'm not the biggest churro fan. But we do have churros at Tokyo Disney. They're usually 450 yen, which is 450 yen too much in my opinion, but they're $4, <laughs> four US dollars. And at Disney World, um, 600, 650 yen. Wow, I'm getting my prices mixed up. $6.50. What price differences surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below with the keyword price so I know that you watched all the way to the end. And remember, explorers, I did try my best with the research and prices do fluctuate, but I hope this gives you a general idea of just how much things cost at Tokyo Disney Resort. I know I didn't go into things like flights there's just way too many variables about flights and I can get into a whole video on that. But if you like these kind of videos, I'm trying something different, let me know and I can do more things like this where I'm comparing prices and maybe go a little more in depth with certain things. Cause I know I kind of glossed over things like hotels um, and I only gave like a small range of merchandise. But if you want me to go like really in depth, let me know. And remember, when you're planning a trip to Tokyo Disney Resort, you can head on over to our website at tdrexplorer.com where we have free and premium travel guides to help you plan your perfect trip. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I don't know what, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Takes you two seconds, I'll wait. Cool. All right, explorers, I am really hungry after talking about all that food. I'm gonna get something to eat. You hungry, Basil? I think Basil's hungry. All right, explorers, until next time.